so overall the bus ride has been pretty good, but there is... It has gone significantly down. <laughs> well, over the past few hours there's been a few instances where the bus just smells like complete sewage. <laughs> The past 10 days that we've been in Thailand, we haven't really filmed much because my mom and stepdad are actually here to kind of see us. We haven't seen them in about three months, so they were excited to come and see us and we were excited to have them here. Um, but they left yesterday, of course, not without any drama. They missed a flight and everything, but... going to We're heading to the bus station to head up north and we're gonna go and spend a week in Chiang Mai. But, First things first is some 7-Eleven for breakfast. Just forgot our ham and cheese sandwiches. <laughs> So the best way that we've found to get around here, if you can't for some reason take public transport, uh, is to book a grab. Because if you try to get a taxi, they'll try to rip you off. And if you tell them to turn the meter on, 99% of the time, they're not gonna turn the meter on. So you just go download grab and use that. It's really easy, it tells you your price. You don't have to tip, so yeah, it's really easy that way. So we just made it to the bus station. We actually just saw someone with a shirt on for the college that we went to. <laughs> yeah. And we went to like a super small college in Michigan, so it's really funny. Yeah, but one of the reasons that we had to book a bus today, we really wanted to avoid a bus at all costs, but it's like a 12 hour bus ride. But the, all of the night trains were all booked up. There was only a third class seat available. And then and we're not doing and that. the flights were like, we would have spent like $100 more on flights, so. It was like five, five or six hundred baht a piece to take the bus, whereas the flights would have been like almost three thousand baht a piece. Yeah. So. so it's a little bit more worth it. We have to go find our bus now, though, because we have zero idea where it is. Because we haven't taken any long buses here in Thailand, so we gotta gotta figure out the system that they have here. Yeah. <laughs> buses around Thailand make sure that you bus or trains make sure you get the paper copy of the ticket because none of them seem to accept the digital form okay, we got our paper tickets and now we are getting on our bus Also, there's a bathroom on here, which is a really cool thing. 
another pretty important thing to know when you're booking like public transportation in Thailand that well first of all you can always just go to the train or bus station to book your ticket there but they might run out of spots like the trains run out pretty ahead of time and then also don't book on stuff like 12 go because they charge you quite a quite a bit of a fee if you just go like to the official Thailand booking sites for the trains and buses then you're gonna pay a lot cheaper of a price so okay we are like um, <laughs> how many hours in uh, 7 30, 8 30, 9 30, 10 30, 11 30. We're like almost five hours in. We're like five hours in. We might have like six or seven hours left, but we're stopping for 20 minutes for a lunch break. So let's see, let's see what they have to, to offer for food. Stewed pork leg on rice. Looks like what we had yesterday. Look, it's got the little jellies. That is what we had yesterday. So, I guess with, with our bus ticket, we get free meals at whatever place we just stopped at. So, whatever I got, it looks like it's probably going to be spicy. It's just they have like a couple things that are made up and I pointed at what I wanted and she gave me a plate. But, it's actually really good, but there's some spice to it. <laughs> no. Uh, really good, actually. I really like it. My mouth is on fire though. <laughs> a little nose is running. <laughs> a little spicy. Really good though. But not that much food. So we're gonna go. There's like a little mart across the way. And we're gonna go there. So, in total, I looked at the tickets that we booked and we paid 594 baht a piece. So, that's pretty good for a 12 hour bus ride with meals included. So, pretty good deal. I gotta say, the one thing I don't like about being over in Asia is that they never have toilet paper. And it's usually not an issue because usually I just bring some of my own. But when I don't bring any of my own, it becomes an issue. <laughs> That's my rant. That's it. That's all. But we're going to get some food now. Just some quick snacks. We do have a banana each still, but probably should get something else since we're going to be on there for like seven more hours. Honestly, we don't really have any clue what any of these snacks are, so we're just going to pick something that looks good and hope we like it. So at our little store, we got a bunch of stuff that cost 170 baht total, which is a little bit expensive for all of us, but it's Not really, very it was convenient. like four dollars. Right. <laughs> but we got some gummies. We each got a little jelly drink, which is our, like, our favorite drink. We each got a bag of sour cream and onion juice. We got some blueberry cookies. We have no idea if we're going to be stopping and getting just another water. Yeah, so we were we were able to find some stuff that we recognized, but a lot of the stuff in there was pretty foreign to us. Okay? I would say like 99% yeah. we didn't know what it was. But we, we stuck with our trusty snacks. <laughs> <clears throat> so right. here we go, like six six or seven more hours. On the road. Really not feeling well. 
no, right, right now the whole bus just smells like sewage. And that's like, like the fourth time that it's happened. It smells like someone pooped like right here and my nose is just like <laughs> So that's our one complaint, but like I would say that's pretty good that only have one complaint. It's bad. Like, like it's <laughs> I wish you could smell it right now. This, this, yeah, this is like the fourth or fifth time that has happened and like the smell comes and it stays for like 10, 15 minutes and then it like magically disappears. Like, the bathroom door is wide open. That's why it smells so bad. Well, the bathroom stinks, so. All right, so I went back to the bathroom and I took like a short little clip, but there's no light in the bathroom, so you can't see much. And it is, when I tell you, it is scorching hot in that bathroom. Like, there's like no air conditioning, like only in the bathroom. And you walk in there and just like, you get hit with this like muggy wall of air. It stinks. And it makes you want to gag. It smells so terrible. And the door is just wide open. So. Found the culprit. Yeah. It's nasty. Oh, we should be there. How Less than an hour. <sighs> we are finally off the bus. And yeah, it was like 12 hours, almost exactly. Yep, we have a grab coming to get us right now to take us to our place because yep. it's too far to walk. It's a, our grab is like 160 baht, so he's almost here too and I just booked it, so. I hadn't grabbed yeah. it. But, yeah, I guess um, we won't take you on the grab ride. It's boring, so we'll see you uh, in our next vlog when we get out into Chiang Mai. Woo